there, and welcome to episode 5 of my Harkonnen gameplay series for Dune Spice Wars. I'm Icon, and we're... well... <laughs> I think we're now in something I would call a consolidation phase. I am go... I'm struck on several sides... I'm, I'm bound from several sides, there's enemies on all fronts, we got the... Atreides on this flank, we got the smugglers on this arm, and we got the Fremen on this side. And, well, while my borders are all quite well fortified, it's still not that much of an easy situation to be in right now. My attempts to go for sabotage are, well, or espionage, I should rather say, are going really well in general. And,. We'll see about that. So... We're definitely not gonna give the Fremen any influence here whatsoever. Influence is hard enough for me to come by, and I want that uh, infiltration level decrease. Under no circumstances I want that to get through. Just realized that I might want to be a little bit more energetic about this. This would be one of the worst things that could happen to me, simply because I'm working on assassinating people, you know? Help. And let's see. We will need an infiltration level inside those houses of level 2, but beyond that, I, ever, I actually got everything already. Spooky, aren't we? But, I mean, I'm basically playing around this uh, idea, and I don't know how, how it will go out. I'm quite curious about that. So, gear sabotage, mission successful, wonderful. And we're now also stacking up our troops here. The Plascrete production deficit is not that horrible anymore. I mean, it is still a problem, sure. But it's not as uh, not that much of an uh, of a deadly situation anymore. And yeah, those sieges or those raids are happening from the from the sieges. That's a really large raid. Those raids are also getting bigger the longer the game goes. But luckily, we got our uh, we got our regulars and the. And the missile and the local militia went together. So, farming some XP, farming some Solari, not a bad thing. Why is my income so bad? And how about the imperial tax? Well, I'm going to change it like that a bit. Enemy. Operation, the Fremen are poisoning my reserves of water here. Toodles. I really don't care. Seriously, guys, if you want to hurt me, you gotta find some place, something that hurts more. I feel like the AI handles those, uh, those espionage jobs quite horribly. So... We're pretty much out of money. That's uh, bothering me a lot. Let's go for a probe setup thing here, at least. I want to spend some of that uh, money here, you know. So, well, I I didn't need to vote that hard. Everybody wanted to be against that. Well, okay. It seems like they're underestimating how dangerous I am already among them, but... What do I know about these little suckers? So, first good news first, we are now out of that, uh, out of that problematic Plascrete income situation. So, I still want that interrogation center, because I feel like that's just, well, too good not to get it. So, well, we'll see about that. I'm also very interested in expanding my other villages as well. There's just too much stuff that we could go for. House Atreides reached 10,000 hegemony. Gosh. Disgusting. 
So the Imperial tax demand is on a level that we... Well, I got a hard time just uh, ignoring that like this. And due to the fact that we get regularly interrupted while farming, I'm not that uh, eager to be uncautious here. So, inactive harvester, we, cha we changed that. What am I researching right now? Air command. Missile attacks reach further, I see. That's pretty useful. Well, I could use some more money. I'm I'm quite broke, all in all. Greetings. Let's get to business. So, let's see. Our good friend here would be would be willing to give me a few solaris for some of my intel. I I bet. This won't hurt me too much. I just want to have a little bit of a... Uh, of a supply here. So, where's that region that had the money? Here it is, so... Damn, can't change anything about that. Processing plants can sadly be only built at places where there's a rare material available as well. So we can't change anything about that. I can merely increase my income in the provinces here by fetching new soldiers. That's one thing we can do. Village under siege. Excuse me? Where's the siege? Turmoil. Take control of a new act of a new village or build new buildings. So either I get new jobs together or Okay, well I'd love to build something that gives us some profit, you know. So I got yeah, how about something in Gurlon? I got an idea for that. But I, I'll require some... some Blaskrete for that first. Quite a lot of that, too. Damn. I feel like I'm overstre- I've, I've overstretched my financial situation a tad bit. Which sucks, but... Let's swap over to this one. I'd really love to invest some manpower into my into my harvesters too. Tax negotiations, that would be really good for me. Why is my income again negative? Uh, because we have to evacuate one of those harvesters. Damn. So resources deficit, I know. Won't last much longer, promise. So... Or... Yeah, that's even better. We're gonna build that uh, maintenance center over here. Perfect. I got the... The room here. And... It'll give my situation here some relief. <laughs> it's a very difficult situation here. Game itself was pretty hard, I gotta say. So why is my research production that much lower all of a sudden? Ah, must be because of the resource shortage. Certainly because of that. So tell you what, we're gonna upgrade our harvesters next. I bet that this will solve a I lot help? of my problems. Well, no, man. I'm not going to give you any of my influence. You wish. So, village under siege. Hmm. 
I don't get it. So, is there anybody who uh, which I could plunder or just outright attack? Don't think so, huh? Well, I mean, this uh, place here, Baranim, looks like we could, but... Alright, Lanzarad Council, I'll, I'll just uh, support the... Uh... Hmm, I of the Council, well... Atreides has two points of infiltration in every other faction if they can't get voted for that. Effing spooky. So, I'm going to go against that. You know, espionage, that's my point of, uh... That's my specialty point. We're gonna bash in some faces, I guess. Filthy Atreides scum. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what did I? I didn't say anything like that. So. By the way, I got a lot of operations here available here. So, infiltration cells. Needs 1000 Solaris, though. Is there anything else where I could spend my influence or my intel into? Well, okay, not yet. Not yet, but we're gonna get there. I just need a little bit more money for that. Let's see. Yay, another agent! We definitely need more manpower here in the... in this area there. I'm saving up my intel now to go for a... Quick and decisive strike at their throat. You know. Okay, I need more manpower. That's one thing I definitely see. And I bet I can't afford that. This will also help me to uh, mitigate this thing here. I mean, a rebellion is not really any bigger issue. But, on the other hand, I'm also very sh very happy when I don't have to um, mess around with that. And we need more manpower. We just need. It's so damn important right now. Because with that extra manpower, we'll be certainly able to get some upgrades on the on the collectors going so because this is just a just a too narrow thing I, I don't like that so upgrading these will cost me 50 Lord. but we got a big nice amount there now so the Lanzarot is through so it was nobody interested in that they were all way more interested in that so now we got we got the atreides with a lot of uh, they got two bigger um things there now going on this must increase their score even more but well nothing we couldn't solve with some good old-fashioned violence i hope all right so we got that resolved all right, look at that income. That's better. So it seems like we're finally get, again getting somewhere. So let's increase the economy and then we're going to go into a war. At least that's my plan for now. So this thing is at maximum crew. This thing is not. And this one is not either. Because I really want that Imperial tax resolved as quick as possible. So... Well, we gotta be 
shifting this a little bit more towards this then. I mean, I got a nice nifty amount of money right now, yeah, so I'm not too worried about all this. Uh, points of interest in investigated. Beautiful. So. Rebellion is underway. Oh, my troops got eaten by a worm, and I didn't notice. That's really, really outright horrible. Oh, gosh. And we didn't notice. Okay, so... Practically as bad as it can get. Ooh, but we'll see. I see a decent chance of my troops getting there before the situation is getting out of hand. There's new Lanzarot stuff. Guards, authority production, blast great. Got a lot of authority lying around as well. Feel like I'm stalling right now in a very, very unhealthy way. So, I mean, worst case scenario would be me needing to reconquer all that, which would outright suck, but wouldn't kill us either. But, ooh. So, are we, did we get there in time, or, or was it too late? Combat ongoing, village under siege. So there's more stuff happening there, but I see good chance of this being actually us striking back the rebellion. Oh, I'm at maximum intel. I must spend intel. So... There we go. So... There's another rebellion underway there. Good lord. This is bad. So, let's keep the extremely wounded guy there. And, uh, he did lose troops here? Gosh. Okay. So, these guys are stronger than my dudes. This is bad. So, looks like we gotta accept that we've just lost one of our cities to rebellion. Damn. Whew. That's bad. So, we don't need these ornithopters anymore. Rebellion underway. I can't really do anything about that at this point anymore. So, I really want to stop the Atreides from grabbing every single um, thing there that they get their greedy fingers on. But, well. So I'm way too broke for all my plans here right now, and Jibat is lost. Screw you. You guys have my never-ending anger on you. Well, I feel like I totally lost this party, and I did see... Greetings. And I, I, I feel like I start to understand what my mistakes here were. Like expanding too hard early Let's on. Let's get to business. 
they want me to send them Blast Great Helmet. And I feel like my economy sucks. Ever since I started this game, my economy sucked. I had way too long times where I wasn't able to do anything, and now I'm sitting on that huge stockpile of intel, and I can't do much with it. Because most of the more interesting things need money to back them up as well. And now I can just spam out uh, broke setups to gain some points, but that's actually, at the end of the day, quite miserable. Well, I think the big downfall there was mostly due to the fact that I got gimped so hard by losing the armies there. That was basically my downfall. If that wouldn't have happened, I think we would have been pretty good, actually. But the fact that I lost so many of my troops because of uh, a short oversight there, I mean, the big problem there is not so much that you're losing troops. The big problem is that it's so easy not to notice that you're losing troops. That's one thing I must say that. I also feel like the game is not, not communicating too well perceivable right now. I feel like that was something that flew so damn under my radar. Whatever. I'm also very inexper inexperienced with this game, so I don't want to take that to, to, um, to personal on the game, so to say. But all in all, my situation looks really crappy. I got lots of Plascrete that I'm not really able to use uh, in a good way. I mean, I got a lot of spice and uh, a, a lot of manpower here right now. Sure thing. But this also doesn't really get me too far. So, let's reconquer Jabad. Why the hell are my dudes dying so heavily? Like, guys, what the, what the hell? weirding me out a tad bit that the that these rebels or locals are all of a sudden so damn strong they weren't most of the time that's why i'm so confused well so i'm seemingly the only person who's interested in stopping the the atreides from grabbing every single decision up there which is really bad, because somebody better stop them. And yeah, the, the lack of redeployment there on the, on the harvesters just sucks, honestly. Problem there I see is mostly in the fact that you got so many things to, to worry about. There's so many parts in motion and forgetting to set up your harvesters for a moment brings you really into a very, very uh, disadvantageous situation. And I don't know, I find that pretty, uh, pretty uh, weirdly resolved, so to say. Yay, everybody has their 10,000 hegemony stage. Just not me. Well, we're almost there, though. So far, yet. I hope they are holding against that. Doesn't look like they are. So yeah, there's also an an operation here against me going. So let's let's put a ceasefire on that area. Nice try, guys, but uh, I'm noping this one out. So another thing that really crosses my mind, which I should work on harder, are airfields. I really feel like that gutted me pretty hard as well. My mobility over across the map is just terrible, and therefore 
this is gutting me quite hard as well. But I mean, I learned a lot out of that. This entire series was planned to be a learning series. That has been the, uh, the idea of this one from the beginning. And I am very happy about the fact that this game is punching my teeth in, so to say. It's like we're winning this now, though. Yep. Ceasefire is awesome. Like, uh... You can just make sure that the enemy is not even able to do anything. For a while, and your, your own units can regenerate during that time. It's really powerful. I like that. So, we've lost a lot of good stuff here. So, let's put the oppression thing down. But I also think losing and recapturing um, stuff in this game is a is a very natural ebb and tide. So, I almost forgot that I need to vote. So, let's see. Yeah, of course. Nobody is voting against the treaties. They are all, always uh, worried about other things may, way more than the fact that these guys are just passively taking over. But who the hell should care about that? Except me. So. Now, let's do this. I'm able to upgrade my harvesters even more. So now we get even more output here. So, we got that. Let's get another... Plus Creed Factory down here. And then a missile, missile battery. Or two. Or three. I don't know. I just want those Solaris down to start lot against the Atreides. So. Let's go for more missile planes. Uh, missed the batteries. This is another thing where which I feel is quite odd. This game should give you a warning when you are not researching anything and prompt you on top on that. I feel like this is something that feels extremely strange that you can just uh, accidentally derp out so much there. I don't know. I don't like that, to say the least. So, oppression of this area here uh, does a lot. So, let's infiltrate our friends, the Atreides. Oh, I got finally my hegemony thing. So, mission setup. Investigate on potential sources. Recruit a double agent. Free an enemy agent. So, let's see. Fifty percent chance of failing, though. So, there's another rebellion underway. Put down some gear sabotage to make sure that these guys are easily beatable for our dudes. Gear sabotage is something I think you should have on your uh, on your roster at every time at all times. It's easily acquirable. It's powerful, and it doesn't cost you anything except for intel. I find that extremely appealing. So they're, uh, they are now, this is definitely an intel fight, 
So let's uh, counter that with Cease Fire here. There's just another rebellion right now happening there. My stealth probe is getting killed. So... I don't really have the money to recruit any new troopers here. Or, well, okay, I can. that their weapons are weak again. So. One of my agents has been captured. And now we get to a point where things are getting more and more problematic. It's clearly visible that my neighbors are trying to get these areas by unfair me means. And I wish I could order my dudes to just go for weakest units, but I can't order a attack on a singular unit. That sucks. That really sucks pretty hard. Gotta say. This is one shortcoming that I really despise. Because this way, I can't really um, do any any direct measures to take down singular units. Which I feel like would be great if you were able to. And another thing that's outright bothering me here is the fact that obviously there seems to be no cooldown on the uh, rebellion and... and, and thingy. So once I strike down one rebellion, it seems like yeah, the enemy can just uh, cover me with rebellions like that and uh, you're absolutely screwed against that. There's nothing you can do. Alright, so well, learned a lot about this game but I won't be compl I won't be continuing this run because I considered that a lot of a learning session and I feel like I I gotta prepare myself a little bit differently about that. Expanding too greedy is a very, very sure way to die, but I already, I already expected that there would be something going bad horribly with this run, but I don't mind. So, we're at the end of this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's see what we're playing next time. Drop me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and of course, consider subscribing. I'd be down to hear from you guys as usual. So see you guys next time and have a good one. Bye-bye.